I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play one of my favourite Scottish Strass Bays, the Laird of Drumblair. <laughs> Now the Strathspey is the it's kind of the national tune of Scotland, and uh, it's taken very seriously and should be. Um, but I have to say I've been playing Scottish music at uh, Cayleys and Burns nights and whatnot for <laughs> longer than I care to think, and I never took it very seriously. I played all these tunes um, without really giving any thought to the to the bowing or to the ornamentation. I just hacked them out, and. Um, Everyone, as far as I know, was perfectly happy with what I was doing. But uh, last year I had a crisis of confidence about my Scottish playing, and I had a couple of very interesting conversations with uh, Paul Anderson, who is a North East style expert, and Bruce McGregor, who is a West Coast expert. And they had very different ideas on uh, how to approach bowing and ornamentation. And basically, uh, Paul Anderson told me that um, the, the North East style is all about bowing and the bowing has to be very energetic and you've got to use everything from the very tip to the very heel and when you watch him and he's got loads of videos uh, it's like he's chopping wood he is so energetic with it and it's a joy to watch and a joy to listen to um, but when you try it it's really quite hard work uh, that's what I'm going to try and show you some of today um, when I spoke to Bruce McGregor he says that the North East style, although it's, it's kind of like the high style of Scotland and it's what, uh, it's what Scott Skinner played um, and he made it into a fine art. Uh, but um, Bruce McGregor says that really the majority of Scottish fiddle players don't play in that style and they have a much more relaxed um, attitude to bowing. And really it's more like Irish fiddle playing where you do a lot of short bows and not very much work. So it's up to you uh, which of those camps you, li you prefer. Um, if you live in the North East, you're going to want to do the North East style. Um, ditto the West Coast. If you live in, uh, let's say, California or um, Hanoi, then <laughs> it's really up to you what you think is the appropriate style. So, um, let's first of all look at the, the basic melody without uh, talking about the bowing, and then we'll look at bowing and ornamentation. So, nice and slow, uh, a strathspe has uh, der ders and der ders, and that's the main difficulty when you're reading or learning a new tune, is getting those right, because a dot and a dash looks very much like a dash and a dot when you're first reading it. But anyway, here goes, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Strathspeys are usually played straight through with no repeat in the middle, although I have often heard this played with repeats, but I think for the dance you should um, play it straight through. So, um, if you're doing correct uh, northeast bowing, then um, even your very first note will go all the way from the tip to the heel. So you're starting. Now you'll see there's a, a little line there, a straight line, and that indicates a, a stopped bow, so you're moving forwards, it's not like a slur, it's so starting from the beginning and then that brings us right to the tip 
and then this is what we call the updriven bow where you force the bow all the way to the heel and we're slowing the next note and these triplets I think you should always play them separate uh, although again the lazy way would be to, um, to slow them all but I think it loses all the effect if you do that uh, if you listen to uh, Paul Anderson play this, he doesn't play them all even at all. So you get quite a lot of them. Which is just a matter of feel, I think. And then... And then a big a slur. That's five notes slurred. All the way to the heel. All the way to the heel again. All the way to the heel again. All the way to the heel. And ornamentation. Um, you've got a thing called a scrunch at the beginning, which you can do with your fourth finger. Uh, slightly flat and sliding up. I prefer to do the third finger. So you play, you start off with the discord and then you move onto the A string uh, so that the discord stops. A little hammer on and that's uh, E with an A under it. A tiny hammer on, an open A. And you can do quite a lot of open string drones here. And incidentally, this is in the key of A, which lends itself to A and E drones. Scrunch again. Uh, we're doing a, a long up bow on the last two notes. Another hammer on. And you can do a scrunch on the E. You can do a little hammer on to the uh, A to the B. And the last two notes. You've got a yeah, yeah, where the bow is stopping and digging in hard. So this is a lot of fun, uh, it can be a lot easier than that, um, but if you want it to sound really in keeping then you've got to do all of those things. Uh, you'll have noticed that I got a lot of <laughs> the bows the wrong way around there. As I say, it's your choice how deeply you go into this. Let's have one more go and we'll use the backing. If you would like a copy of the dots, then subscribe and send me an email and I'll be very happy to send them to you. See you again soon.